This episode of Wine Chats is proudly sponsored by Collab and Bloom. From seed to bloom, they bottle your dreams for you. But, but then this weird thing came over me where I'm like, Cameron would fucking love it. 100%. If I just woke him up. Can you believe? And started banging him. Yes. Like every guy's dream, right? Yes. Henry says that to me all the time. He's like, if you in the middle of the night right. get horny. And I'm like, why would I get horny in the middle of the night? Welcome to Wine Chats with Bildo and Lindalyn. My name is Billy Milovanovic, also known as Boring Bildo. <laughs> I am loving Boring is that Bildo. Better? Yes, I'm so surprised pleasantly. Lindsay, can you just calm down a little bit, please? Can you just tone it down just a little bit? Okay, just chill. Oh my God, Billy, can you, let's do it like that every week, right? Nah, People, that was boring. Oh, hey! Oh, fuck off. Welcome. You've, no, you've already done it. I'm Lindalyn, also known as Lindsay Kirkwood. Hey, Lenny. Oh, fuck. Jeez. Hi, Bill. <laughs> um, look, I love the con, Bill, so keep it going. Great. Well, this is our lovely podcast. <laughs> okay. Is no, lovely too boring. far? No, too boring. Far, okay. Yeah. This is our, listen, it's a podcast. Oh. We're offensively funny. We're drink wine. We talk about life. Um, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. There yeah. you go. Um, funnily enough, with that little tagline, let's do it. Um, so we're on episode 69. Girl. Keep that in mind, not to be a little bit rude, but um, we, very coincidentally, we're going to talk about tipsy sex. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 69, episode 69, get it? Tipsy sex? 69er, oh my God. yeah. We, we right? should call this episode the 69er. <sighs> okay, the tipsy niner. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to work on Dumb. the title. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's hope you come up with something better before you post it. <laughs> um, and No, but we thought that was really funny. We think we're hilarious. We, we hope you do too. <laughs> Either way, it's episode 69 and we're going to be talking about tipsy sex. There you go. How fun. But before we do that, we need to get tipsy. We need to get tipsy. Okay, so today we have a new wine sponsor wine. Montero Wine. Yum. We're doing one of my favorites. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Hello. Black grapes? Or just like normal red grapes? You are such a sarcastic... Or like Mole. Pinot grape, like Noir grapes. She's making fun of me from our previous episode. Billy, I'm ignoring you. So <laughs> You can't is, ignore me. It's the t- we're no, the only I two can. here. <laughs> no, no, I can. And I will. It's Adelaide Hills, made in Adelaide Hills. So Montero wine, um, it's vegan friendly. <gasps> That's good to know. Which is very important for some people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Not us, obviously, but some. <laughs> sure. Oh, look, I think it is in maybe subconsciously. Yeah. But you know what I find it funny? Is and this is so appropriate for you. It's made by Looney Wine Co. <laughs> <laughs> Looney, I like him already. Yeah, Looney. Um, yeah. So Adelaide Hills. What else can you say, really? Oh, look, food pairing with wild mushroom gnocchi with truffle oil and freshly <gasps> shaved parmesan. Uh, hello, did you bring that for lunch? Yum. No, for lunch we're having spinach and pea soup. <laughs> <laughs> made by me. Does that say yeah. anything about spinach and pea? <laughs> No, no. But look, I, okay, I'm not going to read like I did last episode about which flavors you can taste. <gasps> yes. Can I guess? You can. You can. And I'll be very interested to see if you taste this one particular fruit. Look, I'll give you a okay. hint. Okay. So let's pair it or pair it. Fuck's sake. Jesus. Lindsay, pour it. So there's yeah. going to be a particular fruit. Yes. I mean, there's not really very many you can have in a wine, right? No. I'm assuming it's not a grape. <laughs> oh, no, you. N- n- I mean, kung-fu? could be peaches, could be old oh, Pinot Noir. So this is obviously a lot lighter than what did we have last week? The Tempranillo. Yeah, yeah. If All you right, want to pronounce the L's, go nuts. Tempranillo. Cheers. Right, let's see oh, Pinot Noir. Back to my good old Pinot right. Noir days. Oh, I like the smell of it. For what that's mm-hmm. worth. Mm-hmm. Very vegan like. <laughs> Nearly spat my wine out. Yeah, see, you can't go wrong with the Pinot Noir. Oh, I like that. I mean, you could, but you can't with this yeah. one. Yeah, I like that. Yummy, eh? Just yeah, nice it is. and light. Now, you're teasing me with some yeah. sort of fruit. Oh, you! I faced the bottle towards you. You better not have read that. Yeah, What? Mm-mm. which fruit? So I'll start. Um, is deep ruby in color with spicy aromas and flavors of... Wow, good guess. Mango. Ew. <laughs> Oh no. My God, no, listen, I have no idea. I couldn't taste any fruit in this, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> normally you taste fruit and oak. And well, I mean, it. certainly grapes and oak are in there. Right. Okay. Yeah. Something. Cherry. Peaches. No. Pears. No. Apples. Oh, my God. 
Strudel. <laughs> oh, close. I thought you were going to say it. Strawberry. Oh, what? <laughs> strawberries. Oh, I would never have guessed strawberries. Strawberries, cherry, plum, and dried herbs. 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 The H is silent. Yeah, right? <laughs> that too. Complemented by a long, silky, and smooth finish, which is very true. It's delicious. Oh, to yeah. Drink. The smooth, silky finish, absolutely. I really yeah. like this one. Uh, can I get the strawberry? Mm. I, not really. I guess if, like, now I'm thinking about it, I'm I like. I can. D- taste it after, like, let it swallow it. Yeah, no. And then kind of yeah. do the. No, do it in the mic so we can hear yeah. you. Mmm. <laughs> no, I actually strawberry. can. Strawberry. But no, I think I that's can't. because. Yeah. yeah, I think it's because it's in it. my head now. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess it's strawberry. But no, I really like it. Um, It's it, a beautiful, like, wine, to be honest. Just like it feels yeah. so light and dainty for, like, a summer. Yeah, for a it, summer red. If you want to drink a red in yeah. the summer, for sure. Um, and Pinot Noir was my first. Mm. I think a lot of people, when you start drinking red, oh, start with Pinot Noir. I could right. be totally wrong. Yeah. But because it is such an easy red to drink and it is so light and right. enjoyable. But Ooh, that's here we go. not my fun fact. Tell me a fun fact, Linny. This is more um, ancient tales. Oh. Right? Right. Yeah, Pinot Noir is noted to be one of the most ancient winemaking grapes dating back to the fucking Roman era. I didn't know that. Romans. Yeah. That has managed to survive to this day, obviously, clearly, because we're drinking it. Um, <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is thought to be 2,000 years old. Now, to compare that, to put that in perspective, yeah. the Cabernet variety, which have only been around for a few hundred years. Wow. So Pinot we're, drink- Noir. we're drinking history. We are drinking history. We are drinking history. That's what I just said. Lenny, I just, can I just tell you, we're drinking history. Oh my God, <laughs> you are so annoying. All right, moving on. Okay, tipsy. Should I lead the way? I feel like you should. Okay. (laughs) I'm like a giggling little (laughs) schoolgirl. So look, there's a group of friends that I get together. I call them my daycare friends because we befriended each other back when our eldest kids were in daycare. Right. My eldest, maybe not theirs. Um, So we've been friends for like a good three years. Right. We get together monthly every, well, it's probably like every six weeks, whatever. We always have... Like, we're genuine friends. We don't even fucking care about the kids. Like, we're just, we're not mom <laughs> friends. We're not that typical mom. Group. Right, yeah. I we're, think you've moved on from that because obviously your kids yeah. don't go to daycare anymore. No. Now They're you're just, one. you could just, you could just be friends. We're friends. Yeah. So we, whenever we get together, there's obviously clearly wine and giggles and all that fun stuff. Wine chats. Wine chats. Right? Right? I, <laughs> stop <laughs> saying what I'm saying. This is creepy as fuck. <laughs> um, but we just have giggles. It's such right. a fun time. So we got together a few weeks ago. Okay. Well, maybe two weeks ago, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, and look, I I hate being hungover and I hate that feeling of losing control. Yep. So I stop myself from yes. getting to that point because yep. I just cannot stand it. So I was tipsy. Was not drunk, right. but I was tipsy. Okay. Yeah. So we, and we always close down wherever we go. Right. We're the last people, right? Okay. So we closed down the first place we were at. Um, and due to COVID, all these bars oh, and pubs right. have different restrictions and times and stuff like that. Yeah. So we ended up at the dodgy Stones Corner. Sorry, I mean the fantastic <laughs> Stones Corner. Yeah, right. Um, we, you end up at a reputable <laughs> pub-y kind right? of place. Yes. It's fantastic. We were the only people there. So we kept drinking whatever. Right. I got home. Okay. Tipsy. Tipsy. And I was like, this never happens. But I was like, I think I'm a little bit horny. But how often do you come home tipsy as well? Well, every six weeks when I go oh. out with these girls. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But right. I'm always like, fuck, I'm tired. Yeah, I because it's, yeah. like, I want to go to bed. It's late. I was going to say, I want to shower and go to bed. But obviously you don't shower in the evenings. Oh, so that you God. skip that bit. In the summertime, Billy, I do. Mm-hmm. Okay, that go is on. another episode. Previous episode 18, 28, 38. Every time you bring it up. I don't know. Anyways. So I'm like, I feel a little bit like I want to get jiggy with it. Yeah. So now to set this scene, (laughs) normally whenever I go out or Cameron goes out, all three of the kids end up in the bed. Right. With whatever Yes, I do that too. Yes. Because it's just an extra little slumber party. It's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Cute. Whatever. So I come home and all three kids are in the bed. Oh, no. Yeah. 
Well, Cameron's not in the bed. Oh, Cameron's not in the bed. <laughs> no, he's like, fuck, there's no room for me. So he's downstairs in the spare room. Oh, how handy. Very handy. Also very inconvenient because oh. it's all the way downstairs. What? Oh, and in your tipsy state, you yeah, couldn't I'm like, that manage seems, stairs? Well, no, I'm like, that seems like a lot of fucking effort. Because to get... To downstairs, like our room is obviously upstairs yeah. at the one end of the house. Yes, so you got to walk all the way to the other end, down the stairs. Yeah. And I'm surprised that, the, the, like, the thing is you can be horny yeah. and you could just masturbate. <gasps> I did think of that. You know what I mean? Like, so exactly. nobody has to, like, you don't have yes. to worry about having to worry about him and fish, finishing mm-hmm. him off and all that. It'd be you a lot just, quicker. You just, you do you. Yes. And you move on with your life. I thought about that And too. he never knows. <laughs> exactly. I actually, a hundred percent right. That. Kids are asleep. He's asleep. Yeah. Nobody knows. Take care of myself. But, but then this weird thing came over me where I'm like, Cameron would fucking love it. hundred percent. If I just woke him up. Can you believe? And started banging him. Yes. Like every guy's dream, right? Yes. Henry says that to me all the time. He's like, if you in the middle of the night, Right. Get horny. And I'm like, why would I get horny in the middle of the night? That's ridiculous. Dude, that's yeah, like, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So like, don't, you can dream about that. That's cool. Right? Yeah. But Cameron got it. Well, and look, it took me a solid few minutes to actually like talk myself into it. Like, you, yeah. Shadow boxing. Ada, or <laughs> Ada. I just called you Ada. What oh, the fuck? Yeah, ew, ew, ew. ew. Right. That. <laughs> Billy just was like, you know, pumping me up with the shadow boxing. Yeah. So I was, I was talking myself up. I'm like, babe. All right, Lindsay, <laughs> fuck, who am I? Who are you? I don't know who anyone is. We're a little is. tipsy. Right? God, and no, I'm not going to sleep with you. I may be tipsy, but that's Ew, not no, happening. We don't have, yeah. Um, no. no, I had to talk myself into it. Cameron would love it. Oh, totally. You'll be the best wife for ever. Yes. So, but it was dark as fuck. And I didn't want to turn any lights on. So there I'm walking Oh, yeah, down. you're going to turn the lights on and be like, yeah. hi. hi. <laughs> ew. And plus, you don't want him to see me. Like, ew, in light. <laughs> Stop it. So I go down and then I got, so I'm in the room. It's pitch black. Oh, this is creepy because now he's sleeping and you're right? just watching him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm like, Lindsay, make your move. Make your move. But then a part of me is like, what if he rejects me? What if he's like, fuck <sighs> off, babe. I'm sleeping. Because it's like a good solid midnight. Like it's yeah. dead. And also how, night. like, does that make you think like how often they get rejected and how they must feel? Bingo. Right. Exactly. And that's what I was like, oh my God, I don't want to be rejected. The poor, poor me, but yeah. then the poor Cameron that gets rejected all the time. All the time. So I'm like, just go for it. So- and if he rejects you, <laughs> fuck that. He's never getting that shit again. Right. right? Totally. So, oh my God. <laughs> I wish I took a video just to show him, not everyone else. But so I just like touch his arm and go, babe. Because yeah, I don't want to scare, scare him. him. <laughs> right? <laughs> totally. <Right>. So, <laughs> so I barely even finish saying, babe. And he wide eyed, arms embracing me. Stop like, it. he, like, how did he even know? Aww. And I said to him the next day, I'm like, you were so raring to go. Like I barely even finished saying babe and you were like, give it to me type thing. It was so oh. funny and kind of cute. So That's he, so beautiful. Is it? Oh. It do, It is because A, I'm a little bit tipsy. Oh. But B, <laughs> I'm not going to have sex with you. Oh, right, thank God. Um, but B, like it just makes you think like how beautiful that our husbands love us so much. So much. That they're just so yeah. ready at the bare touch. It was to actually kind of comical slash yes. A yeah, bit like touching. a slash beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So then I'm like, oh, fuck. Now I got to actually go, <laughs> go through with Oh, it. no, 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 no. I have a headache suddenly. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, I was all good because I was tipsy, yeah. right? Like, I'm yeah, like, right. this is fine. Now, I don't need to give everybody exact oh, details. Oh, no, go on. No, go well, on. Like, Get your well, juices yeah. spilling. Let's go. Well, no, but obviously when you're having tipsy sex. Yes. Which I barely ever do. You pull out all the guns. If you're going to do it, you go big or go home, right? Like, Which is why tipsy sex is the tits. Exactly. The, the best. For the sure. The tits is not. The, you know, yeah. Like, I'm not starfishing it. No. He, he was starfishing. I pulled out, okay, the reverse cowgirl. I what? Been, you are reading my mind because I've been thinking about pulling the reverse cowgirl. I haven't done that shit in years. Right? Who has? Who does? <laughs> <laughs> Just me and my audience here. Lenny, Tom, play real clapping. Yeah, yeah, let's get some real, like, you know, buzz here. 
seriously. So, seriously. And of course, I obviously I gave in my head. Like, you have to start out with that way. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's you got to ease that's, into the reverse yeah. cowgirl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know, uh, just jump on. <laughs> no, no, no. Reverse cowgirl was like in the end. That was the finishing line. Like, that, that was, was near the, finish the end. Line. Yeah. That was a sprint to the end. <laughs> so many moves and do you know what is funny okay because I don't get like blind yeah there's a part of me that still like is like what's happening here yes I was like what the fuck are you doing why are you turning around why are you doing a reverse cowgirl (laughs) whoa 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 yeah it was so funny yeah because then I'm like no it's great so look not to give people like imagery of me having sex with my husband but like there was quite a few maneuvers he was obviously very much enjoying it yes but so, you know, obviously things end and that was great. And he was like in heaven. This oh. like that would literally be a dream come true for him. Like he was probably already dreaming about it. So can you when you like came in, like yeah. you would have been in your clothes. Like would he have to de-dress I you? Think, like what did no, you I think I just had my t shirt on because oh. just in case like the kids super or whatever. cute yeah, yeah so yeah. just my t-shirt plus my i don't know like we've got a lot of windows i don't want the neighbors spying yeah like that know. time you watched your neighbor pee with his giant <gasps> dick yes yeah. hugo yeah he hugo big hugo pe- <laughs> yeah. he did he had a big penis <laughs> um anyways <laughs> minor hey <fact>. hugo <laughs> Hey, Hughes. Yeah, so just a t-shirt. And so we finish off. And then he goes oh. back to sleep in the spare bed. And I go upstairs because I can't sleep downstairs. No, like my kids are still too young. Yes. Yeah. So I go upstairs, go to sleep. The funniest, cutest part Aww. was in the morning. Cameron's like, oh, my God, babe. Like, that was the best. He's like, I woke up with the biggest smile. Like, Aww. he was so giddy. He was like a kid that got to eat all of his Halloween candy in one go. Like, seriously, he was so And didn't even vomit after. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Right. Hey, Bill, this episode is sponsored by Collab and Bloom. They are actually one of my favorite wines. They are so tasty. Yes, the Collab and Bloom team. I love their labels. They are so pretty. Yeah, what else is cool is that they're a collaboration of friends creating expressive and drinkable wines with abundant flavors. But really, all you need to know is they make wine that they love and they want to share it with you. So just like go and buy a bottle and drink it. I just think that's so cute. Like, it really, really does not take much for men to be satisfied. Not at all. Like, in all honesty, we could be doing a lot more. But that's not what this episode is about. No. God, no. Okay, let's just put that thought aside. Yeah, just maybe have a few extra wines with your girlfriends and go home. Absolutely. Because, look, that was like a good two and a half weeks ago. And I haven't had sex yet (laughs) since. Because I'm like, dude, I'm good. Dude, that's good for two months. Seriously, that? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Just keep living off of the fumes of that one. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love tipsy sex. Like, I think just the other week when it was my anniversary and Mm. you sent me home with some wine. Yes. You know? We saw the pictures, Billy. How good. Henry took those photos. I know. (laughs) Right. We could tell. And, like, it was oozing. Oh, that's too gross. Anyways, continue on. Anyway, it was oozing deliciousness because it was (gasps) so good to just get a few wines. Because I'm not a huge drinker, but I can obviously have a few drinks and Mm. it's great. And I like getting to the tipsy point, like you said, get to the point where... You are obviously, like, lose a bit of inhibition, yeah. but don't lose yeah. your bodily functions. It, right? Right? <gasps> Fine line. <sighs> because I feel happens. like once I lose my inhibitions, I want to lose more, and then you get to yeah. losing body parts, and that's yeah. not cool. Losing so, body parts? <laughs> well, yeah, because you're so drunk, you don't really know where things Where'd are Where'd your leg go? Right? <laughs> oh, my God. True story. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> I like getting to that tipsy, and that's, you got to meet that happy. I'm sorry. Oh, we still, <laughs> Lindsay's. We'll let you have a moment. <laughs> this guy. It was really funny. You guys, I'm hilarious. Did you know that? <laughs> Look at her. She's, losing, she's crying. Lose your body parts. Okay. <laughs> out of all the... You can tell she's tipsy. Out of all the funny things I say, this is the one that got her. No, it was just so funny. Like, I uh, clearly you didn't mean to say you lose your body parts. You get so drunk, you lose your body parts. Well, <laughs> you feel like it at the time. Okay. No? Uh, I like to tap my go. teeth. <laughs> what? Yeah, I tap my teeth and if I can't feel them anymore, I know I need to stop and start drinking water. <gasps> I, Do you have a tell? True, t- true tip. Yeah. I don't tap my teeth, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah like how they go kind of numb. Anyway. They do. They go numb. And I'm like, oh, yeah. can't feel mm-hmm. them. Time to stop mm-hmm. drinking and start drinking water. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. I've composed myself. Continue. So are you good? Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what I was saying anymore. I don't know yeah. either. I lost a few body parts. Uh, yeah. There was something really funny about that. Uh, hilarious. Anyway, you have to pick a point mm-hmm. where you are that right kind of tipsy. Yeah. 
Very true. You don't want to be yes. messy, dirty, slut, no. whole bag face. I mean, you yeah. can be that too, but the thing is I'm not, because I lose my body parts. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> You know, like, look, wait, I, I don't know what my vagina's doing at the same time as what my hand is doing. I can't, Ow. you know, marry and, the two. Well, and you run the risk of like doing a reverse cowgirl and then just face planning. Oh, like, my passing God. out. Yes. And you know what's really nice about being tipsy and doing the reverse cowgirl now that you say it? Oh, yeah. Is that unless it's pitch black, which yeah. it was at the time oh, anyway. Fuck yes. Yeah, you do not want to showcase that area of you well not after three kids and there's things on your bum yeah called hemorrhoids yeah <laughs> which we have talked about many times before oh my god we do not need to be flashing those in and this face. is the only thing yeah. stopping me from doing the reverse car goal these days because yeah. we do have yeah. a little bit of light on do you know yeah. what i do and oh. i think i've spoken about this before but i love candles which is what yeah. my candles yeah, yeah. were in the photo the of candles. my anniversary yeah yeah i have these two sex candles i call them Ew. when i light the sex candles you know where it's going Ew. Yeah, for, for shizzle because mm. they just, it's like a salted caramel mm. one. That's actually, actually, go back to episode one. I was going to say, I've heard about this candle. Go back to episode one. This is how long I've had these candles for because oh, I only like them. You clearly don't have enough sex. <laughs> well, I only light them every once in a while. I yeah. didn't light them for about two years or right. something. Right, okay. So go back to episode one. That was our lingerie tales yes. because this is when my mom took me on this massive yes. lingerie Sorry, trip. I yelled. Yes. When I was five months pregnant with my first daughter. Yeah. And so we bought what I now refer to mm. as sex candles. Okay. So one is like salted caramel. One is rum and raisin. Yeah, I love rum and raisin ice cream. Chocolate. Rum and raisin chocolate. Ice cream. Okay. Yeah. But also oh, the smell yeah. of it, like the candle. Yeah, no, that would be Beautiful. Really so I like to light okay. them both. Once Henry took just one out and I'm like, dude, no. Do you mix the two smells? Yes. And it's so Ew. specific to me, those two smells. It reminds me so much of like sex juices. You You've know? just ruined my lint chocolate like salted caramel chocolate bar. That's chocolate your block. problem, not mine. I yeah, no, it's still your problem. very much in my Gross. candle. Oh my God, so good. Anyway, so I light them both up. Okay. But this is not tipsy sex. What are we talking right. about? Why am, talking, <laughs> why am I talking about this? I don't know. Where did I? Oh, oh not oh, my anniversary. T- yes, yeah. yes. Like, oh. Why am I telling you about my sex candles? <laughs> anyway, moving so, on. Yesterday. Moving on. Yeah, so I had... It was so nice to just have a glass yeah. of wine and just get to like that bit where you lose yes. your inhibitions. Well, you're just comfortable in your own skin. Yes. You don't care about the hemorrhoids. I mean, you turn the lights off anyways. But like reverse cowgirl, who does that when you're not tipsy when you're in your 40s? And I'm 30-ish. Gonna ha- 30-ish. Right. I'm going to have to try the reverse cowgirl soon and I'll mm. I have to update you on how I go on mm-hmm. that. But I just, I love tipsy sex. It, it is the best. You t- are just yeah. totally free yeah. to, to just free with your body. Yes. Just free to enjoy it. Yes. I feel like a lot of the times we block ourselves from enjoying 100%. sex because we're so like, oh, I've got to do this and I've got to do yeah. that and I've already done this and I'm so tired and I had yeah. a big day and blah, 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 blah. You don't actually get to relax. Do you feel like sometimes yeah. tipsy sex slash holiday sex are mm-hmm. very, almost go hand in hand? Like if you, yeah. you obviously don't have the luxury of having babysitters take your kids no. for a whole mm. evening. But I honestly, when I have somebody take yeah. the kids and we're just home alone. Yeah. Oh, just the freedom of like, I don't have to get up in the morning. Exactly. I don't yep. have to do all this million things. Like it's just, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love a good, a good bit of. Wow. Okay. Calm good down. bit of freedom loving. Can you not juice all over my chair? Oh, the yeah. juices. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's 69. Oh. Speaking of 69s, oh. you wouldn't have done a 69, would you have? No, we didn't get to that, actually. Yeah. It was on the radar. Things right. were progressing that way. Progressing that yeah. way. But um, no, I pulled. that's when I pulled out the reverse cowgirl. Oh, girl. Yeah, because yeah. I thought, look. <sighs> I don't mind a good 69, but yeah, you got to be in the right space for it yeah. as well. Which I think, so I think tipsy sex would generally would oh, encompass yes. a good 69 yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. We don't do that on a Monday night. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> that it's not a Monday night kind of no no no, no position no, no. yeah no 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 I haven't done one of those in a long time <laughs> maybe that's in the um, next tipsy sex episode for Sesh. Cameron yeah. well Session. yes yeah Session. um ladies uh, daycare ladies. Yeah. <laughs> just so you know next time you get Lindsay tipsy we know now what to do I know and do you know what is funny what they said this is totally like off topic yeah. but when we were together the one girl goes how do you not 
get embarrassed with what you talk about on the oh. podcast. I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't. And she goes, I'm like, how come people, because Jennifer, yeah. my best friend back home, oh, yeah, Jennifer, yeah. like the Jennifer, she loves sex. She And she'll tell everyone. Like, Bless on, her. Good right? for you, girl. Yeah. yeah. She does 69ers on Monday nights. She would. Um, she doesn't care. Like she, her and I, our whole relationship has been, we just say whatever we want to say. Great. As you should. Honestly, you should not be embarrassed about that sort of thing. No, exactly. Own your sexuality, ladies. But even not even with sexual stuff, even about talking Life, about hemorrhoids. Yeah. And yes, like, yeah. why sugarcoat yeah. it? Whatever. Yeah. So my one friend was like, and like people talk to you about these things too. I'm like, yeah, because probably, probably because they know I'm comfortable talking yeah. about it, that I'll talk about whatever with yeah. anybody. Yeah. Um. So it was kind of funny that, and they always suggest like podcast topics and they're like, oh, hee, hee. I'm like, yeah, fuck, I'll talk about that. Well, whatever. I also kind of just feel like because I'm talking to you. Yeah, we forget well, that other people are going to listen to You kind of yeah. forget that there's like millions of people listening. Oh, totally millions. Uh, millions the, of subscribers. By the way, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, subscribe. We're so close to that one mil. We are oh so close God. to hitting that one mil in about 10 years time. <laughs> For real. But yeah, I do. I feel, you know, podcasting is just a conversation yeah. between two girlfriends drinking wine. Talking about offensively Talking about, funny shit. Yeah. So, um, But in all honesty, Cameron's reaction, if you're going to take anything <sighs> away from this tipsy conversation. Yeah about picturing me doing reverse cowgirl. Yeah. In all honesty, whether you're tipsy or not, he, like the next day, the look on his face was totally worth it. That's not so even beautiful. during the act. Like yeah. it was the next day. He well, was it was like, pitch black. You couldn't see well, his yeah. face. The entire <laughs> time he was totally like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wait. I gotta wait. I can't go yet. Right? It's only yeah, been 30 exactly. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, and he like, his reaction was so sweet. So cute. So that made, yes. made it all like not worth it because it wasn't yeah. I enjoyed it too. But like just maybe yes. get enough guts and courage and oomph and energy to do it to your husband. Which I think partner. is really scary when you're sober. This is the thing. You can't drink yeah. every night. Do not. This is we should oh, also yeah. say drink responsibly. Do not do this thing where you're <laughs> getting drunk three times mm. a week to mm. try and put out. That's mm. not the point of this. You should be able to have sober sex too. Just once a week is fine. <laughs> once a week is fine, yeah. But because I feel like we're in Australia yeah. and we should put that disclaimer out because Australians yeah. are a little bit really eh, with alcohol. Okay. But I did that too the other day when I actually initiated sex, which again, Ooh. I don't think enough women do. We just oh, don't. God, no. Like no. how often do you actually like initiate sex? And oh, God, I'm never. really awkward with these things. So yes. I tend to say really weird things. Oh, I can imagine. Are you right? Yes. I'm the worst awkward talker in the world. Oh my God. So what did you say? Can you tell Nothing. us? Nothing. I've been oh. trying to really just zip it up. Like okay. not actually say anything and just act. Okay. Right. And right. when we were done, because it was a beautiful sex Right. Session. It wasn't beautiful. It was. You had the candles on. Yeah. Or no I didn't have the candles, candles on. I didn't. I just didn't go with the candles because I feel like sometimes that gives it away. Yeah. Oh, well, I like yeah. to surprise them. Okay. Jab. Oh, wow. <laughs> just like the you know. Oh God, look out! Throw a bit of thing in there. But <laughs> I think that too. Like afterwards, he was so like, "Thank you for initiating. Yeah. Like, thank you for actually, you know, because how often do they initiate? And you're like, ah, fuck yeah, up. like." You time. know, you tell them to fuck off all the time. 99% of the time. So it's so nice for them yeah. to, it really doesn't take much. So if you're going to take anything away yeah. from this episode, it's have some tipsy sex. <laughs> reverse cowgirl. Once a week, reverse cowgirl. Once a week, just initiating. Whoa. Well, no, 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 no. I do We're not, not endorse that. that. Once a week, initiate. You said that before. Tipsy sex say, once a week. No, fuck. If I did reverse that. No, 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 no. Tom, no, no, can no. we just rewind what she said? Just once a week is fine. <laughs> once a week is fine, yeah. If I said that, I'd take that back. Not once a week. <laughs> Fuck no. Even, no, yeah, that's yeah, very way intense. too much work. Yeah. Just once in a while. Once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah. What, whatever that while is for your sexual relationship with your partner. Not like a year. I mean, don't like. Why? That, well, that's I mean, mine. Between, <laughs> yeah, tipsy sex. Sorry, yeah. I should clarify mm. sex in general. Yeah. Look. Cool. <laughs> Rap Bill, I think everybody has thought about us doing naughty things to our husbands long enough. I will never get that image out of my mind, except it's pitch black. Oh, so right, I have yeah. to like, you know, make up my <laughs> own idea of what Lenny looked like. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. good for you. I'm so proud of you. That's all I want to wrap up Thanks. with is I'm so proud of you. Aww. Go drunk sex. Right, yeah. <laughs> tipsy. Tipsy, tipsy, tipsy. Yes. Tipsy we sex. are ladies. Yeah, I was just... <laughs> 
<laughs> I was just going to say, drunk sex sounds like a dirty whole bag. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, I actually yeah. read that somewhere. Um, it was said something like, I'm going to get this totally wrong. Oh. But it Good. said something like, you should always be a slut with your husband because yes. who else are you going to be a slut for? Who else are you going to be a slut for? Your so if you're going to get drunk and have sex with someone, yeah. just, you have a husband for at sure. home. Just yeah. bang him. And that's what I was thinking too when I was contemplating, do I just yeah, take care yeah. of myself or do I go and, you know, take care of Cameron? Yes. I'm like, what a waste of a moment right? where I could do this best wife of the year thing. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And you want that experience with your partner. Yes. Right? So like, important yeah. if you want to keep a marriage going for longer than, yeah. you know, a few years. Yeah. Like seriously. <laughs> Okay. Good for you. Um, All right, I think go. that too sometimes when I'm yeah. like horny, I'm like, I should really mm. just turn around and ask my husband, but I'll just wait mm. for him to fall asleep and then yeah. rank up by myself, you know. <laughs> Fine. With your apple cake. With my apple cake, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to eat some cake and forget about how horny I'm feeling. It's fine. <laughs> Wank off in that. Well, oh. we can't wank off. It well, was yeah. flick the bean, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I hate that saying. Actually, Ew, really? Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I just think I about like, like the little like. Yes, thicker, 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 exactly. Just, I hate it's that. like a punching bag, like those little punching balls, yeah. the boxing balls, where yeah. you're. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah gross. Okay, let's <laughs> let's where, not do that. Where is this episode going? I don't let's know. end it to the end. I think. <laughs> let's end. I'm hungry too, by the way. So let's go. Okay, okay. rapidly rap, Bill. Rapidly rap. Let's uh, find us on social. Subscribe all find that bullshit. Find us on social. Let's go. Subscribe all that bullshit. Let's go. Why are, you right? Why are you mocking me? Why are you mocking me? See, this is oh what my daughters do. I've been hanging out with my kids too long. Annoying. Um, as Lenny said, yep. find us on our socials: Instagram, Facebook, Wine Chats. Uh, you know, Bildo and Lindelin. Try yeah. either Wine Chats or Bildo and Lindelin. Yep. You'll come across us. Um, please subscribe, follow, rate. Seriously, subscribe. Yeah. That's what gets us into like charts. Yeah. I feel like last time I put up a just a little post on Instagram mm-hmm. saying, hey, subscribe or whatever. Yeah. And literally the next day we were charting on Apple iTunes. Yeah. So it we, actually really legitimately does. It help. does. We were in the ranking. Yeah. So thank you so much yeah. for ranking us. Um, ranking us? No. Yeah. Rank us. <laughs> rank us. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. There you okay. go. Tom, play the music. Just go. No, no, no. Tom, Tom, no. Tom. I didn't give you the cue. No, I did. I'm the boss. A one. A two, see. A one, two, three, four. Stupid little head is bopping. Where's Jack the Fly? Go in her mouth. Go up her nostril and make her stop singing. Tom, hit the music. <laughs>